Hey, what's happening, everybody? Um, so, if you've been around a while, you may have noticed that I changed the name of the YouTube channel. We were once the Potter's Pickers, and now we are the Potter's Stackers. Well, a couple of questions might be, one is why, and two, if you're a picker, what's a stacker? So, what a stacker is, is somebody who stacks physical gold, silver, platinum, rhodium, or other precious metals. Those are really the main four uh, for the purposes of wealth preservation, collection, and uh, uh, just a really good way to keep the money you have out of the banking system and under your own control. So the reason I'm doing this is because things have changed radically in <laughs> roughly the two years since I've made a Potter's Pickers video. Uh, most recently I've made a couple of videos on unboxing a piece of silver and, um, you know, junk silver or constitutional silver. But now I just want to explain what it is that I want to do with this channel going forward and how it can be a, how it can be a blessing to the 2,100 and some subscribers that I already have. So if you're a picker, the reason that you are, are buying and reselling things is to make money and to increase your wealth. And what I want to do now is show you how to protect and preserve the wealth that you have for future generations. And not only that, but to show you as a picker how to identify things of value that maybe you've overlooked. Maybe you are a person who resells records or you resell uh, pottery or things like that. And one thing that I can teach you how to do is how to identify precious metals in everyday places. For example, um, I found some gold at an antique store that I got at a really, really good deal. And that's a story for a future video. But I'm going to transition this video inside and show you some of the things that I'm talking about exactly. And I want you to leave your comments and questions below and tell me what you think. Uh, share the questions that you have. The stacking community is pretty vast and I'm by no means an expert. I am not a financial advisor. Let me give that disclaimer. Um, I'm just sharing with you the things that I like to do and the things that I believe based on my research and analysis are going to be most beneficial for me and my family. And you can take that, use some due diligence and maybe use that information on your own. So let's transition inside and I'll show you the kind of things that I'm talking about exactly. So first of all, let's just get this right out of the way. We are the Potter Stackers. Who is the Potter? It's God and in his son Jesus Christ we have life and in his word we have instruction and so I want to go right to the word of God and talk about what it is that God considers money and we're going to go to Matthew chapter 10 and this is Jesus sending out the 12 apostles and when you go to, to uh, verse 9 it says acquire no gold or silver or copper for your belts no bag for your journey, or two tunics, or sandals, or staff, or laborers, for the laborer deserves his food. All right, so right here, Jesus is instructing the apostles, sending them to share the gospel, and he's telling them, don't take any money. But what is he calling money? No gold, no silver, or copper for your belts. So that is first and foremost why... Um, we're called the Potter Stackers, one. And another thing is, what actually is money? Right, so this is our great preservation tool, the, the preservation of our wealth. And so I'm just gonna kinda go around and show you an example of some different things that, uh, different ways that you can preserve your wealth with silver and gold. Um, there is sovereign bullion, such as this beautifully milk-spotted Canadian maple leaf here but still one of my favorite coins, all right? And you have the iconic American Silver Eagle here. And the American Silver Eagle, this is a denominated coin. So while it is worth a dollar, you would never give this up for a dollar. And you have other denominated bullions, such as this, uh, this gorgeous, really one of my favorite. Um, you got the, the queen on the back. This is the Britannia. 
the Britannia out of the UK, out of England. This is the British Britannia. And you have the Chinese Panda, a beautiful graded coin here. Um, other things you can do with silver here is you can do what some would call a generic silver round. And this is my, this is the first piece of silver I was ever exposed to. This is the American Prospector. And a good friend of mine, when we were children, started collecting these back in the 80s for about two to three dollars a piece. Uh, they go for significantly more than that now. Englehart no longer exists as a company, but the rounds that they make stand for a long time. And then another really iconic one is the, um, this is called the Buffalo. The Buffalo round. Now this one happens to be a fake. Now it's easy to identify because it says copy, but one of the things I'm gonna do on this channel is teach you how to identify real and fake silver bullion because I was looking on Amazon today and I will tell you there is a lot of fake gold and fake silver out there that can fool you. You can get uh, coins. Um, these are old German coins. And yeah, that's from 1937 from Nazi Germany, two marks. And that has got silver content in it. And, but it doesn't have to have silver to be valuable. Now, why would you collect some Nazi coins? Well, because those who don't learn from their history are doomed to repeat it. So these are uh, pieces of history that we have to learn from. Over here, I have the twins. Actually, they're fraternal twins. They're not identical. I got a five ounce and a 10 ounce bar. Both of them have the iconic Morgan dollar design on them. And speaking of Morgan dollars, I have a few of various grading here. You'll see it's the same design on it. Here I have some 1921s, I believe I have an 1883 here. These have seven tenths of an ounce of silver content in them. And these have what you would call numismatic value. In other words, these have collectible value above and beyond their silver content. Um, last I checked, silver was about 26 bucks an ounce. This has seven tenths of an ounce, and yet you will be hard pressed to find one of these for less than $35. Then you have more of your collector bullion. This is a Year of the Dragon two ounce round from the Perth Mint in Australia. And the Perth Mint just makes really cool stuff. And that's the kind of stuff that you can stack. And then there's poured silver. I got my hands on this 8.3 ounce hand poured Iron Man helmet, which is super cool. It looks rough and that's what kind of gives it the character that I like. And then finally, there's always gold. This is a 10th ounce American Gold Eagle. And um, right now, a one ounce of gold is worth about 66 ounces of silver. So, um, it's really your choice. Silver is the metal with the most potential and gold is the metal with the most stability when we're looking at the two here. So why do I stack? I like it. I think all of this stuff is cool. I picked almost all of it out because I like it. And the thing is, is what I'm doing is I'm exchanging my currency for money. This is money. And historically, it has always been money and it will always be money. And so, my encouragement to you is if you want to preserve the wealth that you have gotten yourself. Oh, I forgot to talk about this. It's a Canadian silver dollar. And it has 80% silver in it. This is their centennial Canadian goose. Lovely coin. But anyhow, um, this is just a great way to preserve your wealth and a great collection. What's, there's very few things that you can collect that you know when worse comes to worse, you're just gonna get your money back out of it. There's a lot of things that you can collect. You can collect fishing lures, you can collect uh, comic books, baseball cards, maybe those will go up in value, um, but not always. 
silver and gold always have intrinsic value, intrinsic value, uh, especially when compared to the fiat currency. And you don't have to look too far back in history to see um, what's gone on with our fiat currency. You know, you only have nine, uh, the, the value of the dollar has gone down um, over 90% over the last hundred years. And so we'll talk more about that stuff. And I just wanted to share with you some really, some of my favorite examples of, um, of the silver metal. Again, this is God's money. God's money, God's money. No paper here. So, but this is great stuff. So look for in the future, I'll do unboxings. I'm gonna do testing. I'm gonna teach you how to test gold and silver without using expensive x-ray machines and electrical equipment, um, like the, the Sigma analytics machine. And I'm just gonna show you very simple ways that you can test for gold and silver content to see if what you're getting is real. And I wanna show you in jewelry, how to test jewelry. If you're a, if you're a, a reseller, um, finding gold and silver at estate sales and estate auctions is a very high likelihood. You may not find this kind of stuff. You may, you may, but people know what this is and you're gonna pay top dollar for it. Um, where you can find deals is in the um, jewelry space. So again, I just want to remind you guys, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy who, you know, I'm, I'm really kind of spitballing this thing. I've done a lot of research. I actually started stacking silver back in the early 2000s and had to sell it all to pay for a furnace. Um, and then uh, 2008 hit and after a period of time of forbearances and job losses and unemployment and struggling on eBay. We lost everything. We lost our house. We lost everything. And the Lord has brought us back into a position to, um, to financially at least, to uh, be much more comfortable. Um, we did the Dave Ramsey program and we got ourselves completely out of our debt. We paid off everything that we owed back on the house when it went to auction and uh, credit card debt, student loan debt. And, um, you know, we're investing in a lot of things. You know, we're doing 401ks and uh, thing, money markets and things like that. And, and precious metals is just another one of those vehicles. And uh, it's something that a lot of people are becoming aware of. I've been aware of it for a very long time and I haven't always been positioned to be into it. However much you decide to do, it could be zero, it could be a lot, um, but do what's right for you. Do your due diligence, do your do your research, and I'm gonna be here to help you out, answer questions, and um, help you to make the decision that's right for you and your family. Again, I'm just, hopefully, I'm just a part of the entertainment in your life and a little bit of the due diligence, so, um, so if you've been subscribed to this channel for a long time and this just came up and you've watched all the way to this point, thanks. I, you know, um, this channel is built by pickers. <laughs> this channel is built by people like Craigslist Hunter who, who recommended me uh, to a lot of people and, and helped this channel double in a very short time. And, um, and now I just want to see if I can help you um, if you're a picker, if you're a picker, I want to be able to help you to preserve the wealth you're trying to create through your picking, okay? And also to look for opportunities. If you're a reseller, there's there's stuff out there. There are, you can make money. It may not be the margins you make buying a, a a a record at a garage sale and flipping it for 25 bucks. You, I'm not saying you're going to make those kind of profits, but opportunities are out there, and it's just another way that you can diversify. Anyhow, I've talked enough. Thanks again. Subscribe, like. I, I really hope I've earned your subscription today. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. More to come, more of this kind of stuff to come. It'll be a fun journey. Thanks again for watching. See ya.